Okay, hello dear friends. Now we will do some exercise between radians, still trigonometry, radians and degrees. The degree, G, D, 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 sorry, degrees and between these two, how they convert each other. Okay, first, to begin with, I will start one problem. Theta equal to 8 pi over 9. And we want to know how many degrees. We know this is a radian, how many degrees it is. Okay, we all know one full cycle, one full circle is 360 degree, which is 2 pi and 180 degree, which is a half of a circle, is one pi, right? So I always like to do it in a proportion method, in a ratio method. So if I have two pi, if, if I have one pi, it goes with 180 degree. And now we have a known pi, a given pi, 8 pi over 9. Or we have a given radian. The radian of pi is 180 degree. And a given radian is how many degree. So that is the proportion. And the rest will be mathematical calculation. So 1 over 180, and this 9 can go down 9x8, 20, so x equal to 160 degree. If you like, you can write a degree here. It's better we do this way, actually. I will make sure that I do that way. So it's 160 degree. Let's see my answer. Yes, we are right. And I am pulling out questions from Khan Academy because I learned everything from Khan Academy. Okay, another one, we have theta. And we know the theta is 70 degree. Now we want to transfer it into radian. I always use that proportional method or ratio method. 1 pi is 180 degree. And how many radian makes 70 degree? So degree, degree cancel out. Maybe I use another color. We use golden, the golden rule. Zero, zero cancel out. So x equal 18 as a denominator, 7 pi. 7 pi over 18 is 70 degree. Okay, that will take some time to write. 7 pi over 18. Let's see. Yes, I am right. Okay, another one, we have a new problem, theta equal to 3 pi over 5. When we see this, there is no degree, it means it's a radian. And we still use the same method. 1 pi goes with 180 degree, and now we have 3 pi over 5, that is how many degree? Degree, degree, cancel out. Pi, pi, cancel out. So 1 over 180 equal to 5x on top is 3. So this is a pure uh, arithmetic um, calculation. We just do some of the calculation and... Uh, and uh, and, um, and the computation, pure, uh, basic mathematics. 
So 5 divide, uh, 180 divided by 5 is 36. 36 times 3 is 108. So x equal to 36 times 3 equal to, oh, oh, yeah, equal to 108 degree if we put the degree back, right? So it's 108 degree. Yes, the unit of x is degree. 108, 108 degree. 108, okay, I type it wrong. 108 degree. Yes, I am right again. Okay, here we have a new problem. Theta is 100 degree. Still, we use the same method. 1 pi is 180 degree. And now we have 100 degree. How many radians, right? The top is always radian and the bottom is always degree. You can write it upside down, but make sure that if on this side, the top is radian, on the other side of the equation, radian should be on top and degree on bottom, degree on bottom. You can flip it over, which is the same thing we can do this way. 180 degree over pi equal to 100 degree goes with how many pi? So we can do it this way. <clears throat> zero, zero out. And this is five. This is nine divided by, 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 uh, divided by um, what I'm talking about. Divide both divided by two, right? So nine x equal to five pi x equal to 5 pi over 9. Now let's get down. Get down, get down, get down. Ding, 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 ding. 5, 9. So it's still 9x equal to 5 pi. x equal to 5 pi over 9. So that is the the radian of this uh, uh, this problem okay thank you very 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 much uh, we are done with it dun, dun, da, di, da, dun, dun, dun. it's five pi let me 5 pi over 9. I know I'm right. Yes, I know I'm right. Okay, hello dear friends. So this one we will work on trig value of special angles. Special of special angles. Cosine 150 degree, 150 degree, and sine 150 degree, okay? So you can definitely go ahead, look at this, 150 degree, 150 degree is here, and uh, <coughs> I think it's better that we work a little bit hard and work on this sheet of paper. Oh, sorry. Got my pencil box. What color do we get? It's pure luck. Orange color. Yes, orange color is good. So we make sure this is zero, and every turn is 15 degree. 150 degree, 90 degree, 120. 150 degree. 
So if we put into um, uh, a coordinates, this is first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant, right? And the value of it is a positive, positive, both x and y is positive. And this one, x is negative, y is positive because it's on top. And this one, both negative for x and y, the third quadrant. And the fourth quadrant, the x value is positive, right? The y value is negative. I always write it down. So when I get, so when I look for the numbers, I look for the pure number and then come back to check out uh, the positive negative sign. So 150 degree and the reference angle. Reference angle has nothing to do with the vertical line. It's always, always, whichever way of horizontal line. No matter from left, from right, from um, whichever angle. It's just, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, just how much this shark opens up its mouth, right? The shark teeth. Okay. So this is 150 degree. So we know the, <clears throat> the y value is short, right? So it's half. And the x value is, um, is long, is a root 3 over 2. And now we need to know sine is y value. Cosine is x value. So cosine of 150 degree, square root of 3 over 2, and it's a negative. So negative, negative, root 3 over 2. And negative half. Gosh. If I keep on typing, sine 100 degree. So the cosine is the x value. The sine is the y value. So we will put it in. Sorry, I was on the computer and on here. Not good. So cosine, cosine x value so is negative root 3 over 2 and sine is y value is 1 over 2 x value is negative y value is positive right okay i will not walk with the computer it get confusing now the next one okay cosine 4 pi over 3 sine 4 pi over 3 Okay, 4 pi over 3. We know pi over 3 is a 60 degree. There are some value, you just know it, right? So it's a 60 degree and 4 times 60. So I am still more comfortable with 4 times 60 degree. So it's 240 degree. And 240 degree, 180, 240 is here right 240 and the reference angle will be 60 degree this is the reference angle this is the reference angle so this is the value of it and uh, <clears throat> we know it's in the third quadrant both will be negative so you can just go ahead and write down negative negative and the cosine is the x value, negative half, 
and the sign is the y value, negative root 3 over 2. Okay, negative half, negative root 3, uh oh, why did I? Negative root 3 over 2. Yes, we are right. Okay, so this one, cosine 130 degree. I use save some paper. Cosine 135 degree. Sine 135 degree. Come back to here. 90. 135. 135 is um, isosceles straight triangle, right? These two lines are the same. So this is a 45 degree, both 45 degree. And x value and y value is the same. Now we know it's all root 2 over 2. And uh, the reference number is, uh, the reference angle is three, uh, 45 degree. So we know the reference value, absolute reference value is root two over two. We only need to care about uh, the positive sign and negative sign. So cosine is x value, x, in the second quadrant is negative. Y value is the sign, the sign is Y value. On top, above the, the uh, vertical, uh, horizontal axis, so it's positive. So sign is positive, cosine is negative. Negative root two over two, positive root two over 2. And that is the answer. Cosine negative root 2 over 2. Let me copy this. Positive. Yes, try it. Yes, we are right. Good work. Okay, maybe I should let you hear the bling. Okay, here we have another problem. Cosine 225 and sine 225. Cosine 225 and sine 225. So it is bigger than 180, so it's on bottom and smaller than 270, so it's in the third quadrant, and both negative. We know the reference number is 45 degrees, so just root 2 over 2, negative. Root 2 over 2, both negative. Okay. I want you to hear it. Negative. Negative. It's here. Bling! Yes, that moment. This is why I like Khan Academy, because I, I can do exercise and, and feel bling that moment. I remember when my son was in elementary school, our school has this uh, Khan Academy uh, a program. We introduce Khan Academy into our school classroom and students play around with Khan Academy. And they were crazy about these badgers and that uh, I forgot how much they care about the sound, but the badgers. And it's quite effective, actually. Okay, I will stop here. You have a wonderful, 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 wonderful,